Motions, meanwhile, running high with new appeals for change in the wake of the Uvalde school shooting. And now one member of Texas law enforcement who wasn't even part of the response is apologizing. For Jack Fink is here now to walk us all through what happened in Austin today, Jack. Well, can a North Texas police chief made that apology while testifying before a joint House committee hearing? Also today, we heard from people who lost loved ones in mass shootings, including a resident from Uvalde. She's one of the sweetest souls. Jasmine Caceres remembered her nine-year-old sister Jacqueline, who was among the 19 students and two teachers shot and killed by the gunman inside Robb Elementary School. This morning, around 5.30, I sat on my sister's bed and I cried. I cried and I cried. I shouldn't have to be here right now. I should be at home watching a movie with my sister. Caceres urged lawmakers to improve perimeter fencing and security at elementary schools and training for law enforcement and pass red flag laws. And I'm here begging for you guys to do something. Susanna Hupp survived the Luby's Cafe mass shooting in Colleen in October 1991, but her parents were killed. Hupp is a former state representative who opposes more gun restrictions. I'm no gun lover. I couldn't care less about that hunk of metal right there, except that I want that chance, that, that, that item that changes the odds in what is now a more and more frequent scenario. Fort Worth Police Chief Neil Noakes testified that there are 257 public schools in the city and that if his department were to place an officer at every campus, it would cost an extra $66 million a year. SROs are a, an extremely valuable resource to schools. I do believe they need to stay. I do believe we need to enhance their numbers where we can. He and other police chiefs also push for better training for law enforcement and information sharing between schools and police departments. The president of the Texas Police Chiefs Association also had a message for Uvalde residents and all Texans. I need to uh, issue an apology and say that I'm sorry. He criticized the on-scene commander and other officers in Uvalde for not confronting the gunman right away. The reality is they had rifles inside, they had shields inside, they had multiple agencies inside. What transpired in Uvalde was a commitment issue, not an equipment issue. Jimmy Perdue, who's also North Richland Hills chief, said there are more guns on the streets and that in general there are more crimes and more people who feel unsafe. But he said he could not make a direct link between them. Yeah, and a lot was said uh, there uh, today, Jack. Wondering if, if the police chiefs were asked about adding extra gun restrictions. Were they asked that? What, what did they say? Yes, they were asked that question, Ken. And Chief Perdue said their association supports reasonable reforms, such as raising the minimum age to buy an assault style rifle to 21 and passing a state law banning straw gun purchases. He also remind lawmakers that if they take people into protective custody, the law already allows officers to seize their firearms. That's already on the books. Jack Fink, thank you very much. We appreciate it.